This is the difference between a scad cut and a bad boy mower cut. Bad boy cut, scad cut. Bad boy cut, scad cut. Bad boy cut, scad cut. What's up, Grass Grind family? Uh, welcome to Grass Grind TV. Uh -huh. So you want to get in? You going? You know how to get down. Hey, come here, Charlie. Come here, buddy. You're gonna be on YouTube. You're gonna be YouTube famous a little bit. Clutch. Really, Callie? All right, I'm back. Hopefully everybody's doing good. Um, hopefully everybody's out there mowing, uh, building on their business, building a company. And um, I've been working, as you see. I got grass everywhere and uh, I'm tired, but you have to get out there in order to make your business grow. You just have to get out there. So a couple of interesting things, uh, gained customers, lost customers, um, but I've been gaining more than what I lost. So um, just been having a couple of different type of um, lawn service, uh, some landscape jobs has been coming up. And uh, it's really, really been good, really been exciting. And um, you know, it's starting to get hot. When you get out there and you know, you're out there mowing and trimming, it's a reason why you price the lawns the way that you price the lawns. Because I felt it today and it was hot. And as you can see, you can probably see I'm about two or three shades darker. But um, interesting thing happened the other day. Gonna tell you about it, but first, I'm going to show you this mowing footage, so check it out. All right. So I am back. Uh, interesting thing happened. I had a customer tell me I was too heavy. What do I mean by that? So, you know, you have certain type of lawns that you do. And um, no matter how you try, what you do, which direction you go, you're always going to leave some type of mark or any, anything that's um, on the lawn because it stays wet. Now, what happens is, is that this customer has a heel, and what's happening is that the neighbors, uh, I believe it's the sub pump, is um, going into the heel and it's making it wet. And it's been doing that for years. It's um, nothing that I can help, nothing that the customer can help. But she said that the equipment is probably too heavy for the, uh, for the heel, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep the heel, um, or keep the property, I should say, or 
if um, she's going to try to start push mowing it. I'm not sure. But with this equipment, you got to understand we're talking 800 to 1200, 1500 pounds on some machines. So some machines do better uh, than others. And um, that's the reason that I got the Bobcat in order to get into those small spaces. The 36 inch um, gets into the smaller gates bigger backyards a lot lighter but um it tend to uh leave leave a, a heavy footprint so i'm gonna go out there show you the bobcat show you what i'm talking about and uh had to show you some mowing footage with the bobcat because you know i've been showing the skag and you know how i love the skag but without the bobcat and you know going with the bobcat the first year we would not have been able to get the skag so big shout out to my bobcat i love uh was it bobby the bobcat bobby the bobcat bobby the bobcat so um had to show you some more footage with that um bobcat is still running great i uh, got the kawasaki engine everything's doing good so i'm gonna get up from here and show you the mowers and um and i'll be right back all right all right so i am back and what i was explaining with the bobcat okay as you can see it has a smaller wheelbase of course because it's a 36 inch but if you look at the tires they're a lot different than the tires on the skag i don't know if you can see that up there i'll show that too and that makes a big difference so what happens is this gets filled up real fast and tends to want to slide but her property uh, always stays wet on that hill and i um, not quite sure what to do about it I'm not going to get a walk behind to um, just for that one property so I'm not sure I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the property or um, you know if she's going to maintain it or go with a different service but um, if you look on this one these have better tires Okay, nice rugged. It's nice. Now, what I was considering, and tell me what you guys think, is that I was considering getting some uh, twill tires uh, for the Bobcat. And not really for major heels. You know, I really don't use this one for heels, but just to give it more traction, um, I did have a couple of issues with this wheel here. I believe it was this one they tend to run flat um i was going to get some um solid or kind of like the uh skag where you don't even have to put the air in it's just you know it's just solid but on a 36 it may run pretty rough so um i don't know what do you guys think should i put the twills on there should i leave these i definitely got to get them changed out sometime soon but um, tell me what you guys think about that, okay? All right, so as you can see, um, that's pretty much what happened on that property. Um, nothing I can do about it. And, um, you know, I'm not happy the way it turned out, but it constantly stays wet. I've thought about different things, adding soil. Um, but it, for her to get that property uh, under control is going to need a lot of work. And, um, you know, it's going to be hard to mow. Um, I mean, even with me standing on the hill and, you know, I'm 6'4", uh, probably about 250. Even me standing on the hill, it tends to want to sink in. So even if I got a push mower, um, I'm, I'm still going to sink in. So I don't really think it's a good solution for um, that property. But um, as long as... Uh, they want me to maintain it i'm gonna maintain it okay so i'm about to get in here it was a long day but uh just wanted to let you know what happened appreciate everybody that's checking me out uh liking subscribing if you haven't subscribed subscribe because i got a lot of more videos coming and uh i'm about to get some rest because i've actually been working okay so this is chris on the grass grind always invest in yourself and keep grinding every day <sighs>